Hey y'all, welcome on back to the adventure wagon. I'm traveling to the lease right now, we're close. Oh, man, I am just itching like a crackhead to get out in the woods, man. Because the last two weeks I've been traveling out of town. I've been sick, I've had the, I've had the throat things, I've had the stomach things. I don't know what is going on at, at my house, but every time I come home, I've gotten sick. I did get to spend some time in the woods last week with uh, Flair, Tristan, Brandon. We were up there doing, uh, filming some good videos, but I didn't myself get to, to go out into the deer woods. We did mostly bird hunting, and I'm just, you know, I'm itching to get some brown down. So this is like my first opportunity in, uh, in weeks to really get out to the woods and dedicate some time. Basically peak rut right now. I have been selective at the beginning part of the year. Obviously I had to find the right buck that was gonna get really close to get with my trad bow. Got that done. Then I was pretty selective on, you know, shooting another buck. Uh, I kind of wanted to see what was going to come out. Well, this is the week where things are going to come out. We're going to check the cameras. We're going to see what's running around. And if I don't see anything too crazy, then we're going to take the first opportunity that we get that feels great with a bow. I've also got the rifle if things need to get Western. So I'm ready. I'm a little weaker than usual. Hopefully I can pull back my 70 pounds. I lost about seven pounds from the stomach virus myself. We got to get to scooting because we only got about an hour until that sun starts going down. Coming in here a little late, but we're going to toss some camo pants on, jump in a tree and see if we can poke a hole in something. Let's get it. All right, guys, as we're driving in here, I just got to tell you today is the last day to save at GugenSquad.com for our huge Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale. Up to 60% site-wide using my code LFG. And every five bucks you spend gets you an entry to win our Silverado LTZ. We got our brand new camo hoodies that I'm wearing right here. We've also got our reels, all of our terminal tackle, our hundreds of baits, everything is on sale, guys. So save GugenSquad.com. Don't forget to use my code LFG. All right, we're full camoed up here. I just need to check the little windies. Quite decent, straight out of the north. Which is what this whole place is set up for. I'm excited. I mean, it's so cold, we're gonna see something regardless. because the cows are just, they're in there, but that feeder's been working. You know, the timer's set for five, which is really soon. Got about 45 minutes, but I'm gonna see if I can go in here and just shoo them off real quick, and then hopefully we'll just get lucky and see something. I don't have any other tree stands or blinds set up right now, so this is my only option, unless I wanna hunt with a rifle, which I'm not ready just yet. So, I'll go in here and see if I can spook these cows off. Oh, there's the bull there. there's the bull Yeah. Yeah. All right. That 
was just us and hopefully some deer. First doe that walks out is getting it.
Well, guys, we saw about four bucks, and I called in the tiniest buck in the county. That was that, that little baby deer, that fawn that I had seen with that mama deer so many times, and I guess she separated now, so he's on his own. But I saw one other buck that just, he came across the road, and then I think it was him. He came behind me and just kept grunting and grunting and grunting. But he never would come my way. I guess he was on a doe. And then we saw one more buck right in the evening that was, uh, you know, he was just too small. And then, of course, the little seven-point go buck that was there as soon as I got in. But no does uh, and no giant bucks, no trophy bucks. So we're going to switch gears right now. We're going to head over to my green light that I installed, and we're going to see if it's lit up, see if there's any hogs on it. And if so, we're going to take the uh, low light bow, and we're going to poke a, poke a pig. So let's head over there, see what happens. Well, no dice at the pig light. I actually saw the light on as I was approaching it, and then once I got about 70 yards away, I don't know if I spooked him or something else spooked him. Uh, there was strangely like two helicopters just hovering around, it was weird. I did manage to pull the card though. And also, I think I'm gonna be sleeping inside of the, uh, the cabin here tonight because it's about 34 degrees outside. Oh, well, we're still managing to get some photos of uh, some deer, despite it being cockeyed. Look at that giant. I mean, absolute giant. Goodness gracious. Well, hey, there we go. There's a decent buck. There's some pigs. There they are. All right, well, hey, we have some does here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe those are just two little spikes. Oh, look at that cow. Look at that cow just doing a nice rub. Nice rub job on the camera. There she is. That's who I need right there. Oh, and here's our old six point. He's still alive. No one has taken him. Dang yeah, Someone needs to shoot that deer. I almost had you, buddy. I shot your brother. Easy day. Show me something here. Oh, hey, big boy, big boy. Golly, that sucker needs to be shot. Big pig, big in right there, my goodness. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's what you want to see on, on the old deer program. <laughs> well, given this uh, information here, I don't have a whole lot to go on. You know, really the only place I have set up right now to hunt in the morning is where I sat uh, today. I mean, I left the antlers sitting there. Where are the does? I think they're being chased. I think they're being chased by the bucks. Maybe some of them are locked down because I didn't see a one. And I was just I was just looking at our um, our log for the lease here, and there's only been one, one doe shot. And uh, I think we have like 30 tags. But finding one may be difficult. Uh, but here's my hope for tomorrow. I'm going to do a morning sit. And if nothing comes out, or, you know, nothing I can take, then I'm just going to go into the woods. I'm going to go into the woods. I'm going to start rattling. I may uh, take the harness, just throw it up, just do a little shimmy shaking. That is definitely different than how I normally hunt out here early season, and it's just basically hunting over feeders morning and evening. And then the middle of the day is just shot. Now is like you could hunt all day if you want to and have success. So it's just how much work do you want to put in? So that is the vlog for today. As I said in my previous video, I'm kind of making this week just like daily sort of vlog. So everything is, is, is broken up. It's not like my normal program of I basically make a video around, you know, whatever's down. So whether a deer gets down, whether it doesn't, hog gets down, whatever. You guys are just, you're here with me. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for being here. God bless you the great outdoors. I'll see you.